extinctions. Ever since human beings appeared on the earth, we have had a serious impact on other living things. One of the most serious results of the human presence has been the extinction of other species. Since the arrival of humans, many species of animals and plants have died out as a result of human activity. The extinction of species is a serious problem. When certain species are eliminated, this may disrupt the balance of nature, leading to overpopulation of some species and extinction of others. These changes may have an impact on humans. Also, some of the species that become extinct might have had benefits for human beings. For example, scientists believe that some of the plants growing in rainforest areas might be valuable for treating human diseases. If these plants become extinct as a result of human activity, then these treatments will never be found. The earliest extinctions caused by humans occurred very long ago. Modern humans emerged in Africa over 100,000 years ago, and some of those people migrated to other parts of the world. When they reached new areas, they found that it was very easy to hunt the large animals, which had not previously been hunted by humans. As these prehistoric people moved into Europe, Australia, and the Americas, they killed large numbers of large animals. Within a few hundred years, many species of animals had become extinct. For example, prehistoric people reached New Zealand less than 1,000 years ago, but they soon hunted a huge bird called the giant moa to extinction. With the beginnings of modern technology several hundred years ago, many other species were driven to extinction. Hunters armed with guns were able to kill vast numbers of animals. In North America, this led to the extinction of bird species such as the passenger pigeon, which had previously been very numerous. Other species were nearly wiped out, such as the large prairie mammals called bison. There were once millions of these animals, but now only a few thousand remain. Today, many more species of animals and plants are going extinct. Sometimes this happens because of human expansion into areas that are the habitat of certain species. When people clear a forest, some species may be lost. In the near future, many other extinctions are possible or likely. In some cases, the problem is due to human greed. For example, some people buy ivory that is taken from the bodies of animals such as elephants or rhinoceros. Hunters sometimes kill these animals simply to take their ivory, and the result is a tragic decline in populations. Another example involves bears in North America. Some people buy the sexual organs of these animals for use as aphrodisiacs or sexual stimulants. The result is that hunters kill bears simply to obtain these organs, and this leads to a reduction in the number of bears. Fortunately, many countries have laws to prevent the hunting of species that are facing extinction, known as endangered species. However, some hunting of these endangered animals continues. Only by refusing to buy the products that are made from endangered species can we prevent this terrible crime. Soccer Soccer is the most popular sport in the world. The basic rules of the sport are simple. Two teams of 11 players try to kick the soccer ball into the opposing team's goal. Only one player on each team, the goalkeeper, is allowed to touch the ball with hands or arms. Perhaps part of the reason for the popularity of soccer is its simplicity. The game requires no expensive equipment, merely a ball and a playing surface, preferably a large grassy area. For children in most parts of the world, soccer is the sport that is played most widely. Soccer is also known as football, especially in England. However, soccer should not be confused with American football, Australian rules football, and rugby football, which are very different sports. Although the basic rules of soccer are easy to learn, it is very difficult to master the skills of the game. The best soccer players have developed through natural talent and hard work a remarkable ability to control the soccer ball with their feet, knees, torso, and head. They can pass the ball very accurately or shoot the ball very hard. The most famous soccer tournament is the World Cup. Every four years, teams representing countries from around the world play in a tournament to decide which country has the best soccer team in the world.
Because soccer is such a popular sport, it is not possible for every country in the world to be represented at the World Cup tournament. To decide which countries may participate in the World Cup, it is necessary to have tournaments within various regions of the world. The countries that perform well within their parts of the world can then proceed to the World Cup. In the past, most of the available places at the World Cup have been reserved for teams from Europe and from South America. The reason for this is that soccer has been extremely popular in these continents, which have produced the winning teams in previous World Cup tournaments. Recently, however, several African and Asian countries have played quite well at the World Cup, so there are now additional places provided for teams from Africa and Asia. Someday, teams from these areas will win the World Cup. However, there will no doubt be strong competition from countries that have traditionally had very strong teams, such as Argentina, England, Brazil, France, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. In many parts of the world, soccer has been an increasingly popular sport for women. There are now many soccer leagues and tournaments available for women athletes, and it seems likely that the number of women who play soccer will someday equal the number of men who play soccer. Among children in many parts of the world, soccer is equally popular for boys and girls. London. The city of London is one of the most famous cities in the world. In previous centuries, London was the center of the British Empire. Today, it is one of the most important cities of the emerging European Union. London is located in southeastern England on the Thames River. The Greater London area contains about 12 million people, and the surrounding areas contain several million more. London was the first city in the modern world to have reached a population of one million people. London is a very old city, and many of its neighborhoods maintain their distinct character. One of the most famous parts of London is the East End, where people speak with an accent known as Cockney. One of the features of the Cockney accent is that the letter H is often not pronounced. London's population is very cosmopolitan. The city contains, in addition to people of English background, large communities of South Asian, Chinese, African, and Caribbean people. Most of these people have their origins in countries that belong to the British Commonwealth of Nations. Many of the most famous buildings in London are located in a small central area. This area contains several huge churches, including Westminster Abbey, where many famous people are buried. Another famous church is St. Paul's Cathedral, which was rebuilt after the original was destroyed by fire in the year 1665. The Houses of Parliament are also found in central London. These buildings are famous for their Gothic architecture and for the sound of the large clock known as Big Ben. The Tower of London, which was formerly used as a prison, is now a popular tourist attraction. Buckingham Palace, the residence of the royal family, was first opened for public viewing during the 1990s. London is also famous for its many impressive museums, art galleries, and theaters. For example, the British Museum contains priceless objects from all parts of the world. The National Gallery holds a great collection of artistic masterpieces. The Globe Theatre has been rebuilt to appear as it did during the time of Shakespeare. Despite its age, London remains a vibrant and busy city. Most of the cultural and financial institutions in England are located in London, and the city attracts many young people from other parts of England and around the world. Of course, London is popular with tourists who come to see the many attractions of the city.